I worked for Dell and I was this inside sales rep. I was a, a sales rep in business sales division, which, is, which at the time was the largest growing division in the entire company. At that time, our quota, it was right around Y2K. So people were buying stuff like crazy, buying new computers, buying new servers, buying new everything because nobody knew what was going to happen. Do you remember that? Remember when everybody was scared and they were thinking like, is my computer going to blow up? And you know, if I'm talking on the phone, is acid going to leak out onto my ear? What's... So people didn't know what to do. So they were buying stuff. Listen, you want to talk about sales. My quota was a million dollars a month. We had to sell a million dollars worth of Dell servers, software, and hardware. Now, that was challenging, but the more challenging part you probably missed. I said that I was in inside sales. So therefore, I would log into my computer, badge number 29026. I'd put on my headset and I'd say, hi, good morning, this is Jonathan. Thank you for calling Dell. How can I help you? And I had to connect with that person. I had to instantly get them to not just buy in to what I was selling. I had to get them to believe in the Dell vision. I had to get them to believe in the fact that Michael Dell had a vision and that it was going to change things. But that even wasn't the most challenging part. You know what was hard? This is the fact. Communication is 93% nonverbal. I was on the phone. That's 100% verbal. So I had to sell a million dollars worth of stuff with only 7% of my strength. So I did the best that I possibly could. And I'd work on it every single Tuesday. I'd go to Toastmasters International. And I'd learn about speaking, and I'd learn a little bit more about storytelling. I'd learn a little bit more, not just about how to say it so that people hear it. You may want to add this to your notes. A good message will have people resonate. Then they will remember it. Then they will run and tell others. That's what a good vision does. That's what I learned through that process. The speech was powerful. It was, it was definitely powerful. It was relatable. I would say he took personal experiences and he talked, he related it to people and their careers. So I think he touched everyone in the audience today with the message that he gave. You know, overcome the barriers that you face and don't be afraid to be different. So it, it was an awesome speech. I thought that his attitude of you can do it and what's in your mind you can manifest is the message that we need to hear and I'm so glad I was here to enjoy it because I can do it, I've got this.